Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at the January update for Surface Duo. There's a couple of new features here that I wanted to show off, including the ability to now customize the Surface Pen. So if you jump into settings here, go down to connected devices and then go into Surface Pen, you'll see that there's a couple of new options here or a few new options for customizing the Surface Pen. So as you can see here, we have options for single click, double click, and press and hold. The previous update introduced the ability to single click to open OneNote, but it wasn't customizable. Uh, but now, as you can see, it is. So we can choose any app that we have installed on our device, whether it be OneNote or an app that can ink to basically anything. So I could choose Twitter if I wanted to. In fact, I've got Twitter set for press and hold. But yes, we've got single click, double click, and press and hold options here. So uh, let's demo those. If we take the pen off our charging case here um, and single click to open OneNote, that will of course open OneNote. Now if we double click, that will take a screenshot. And now if we press and hold, that will open Twitter like so. So that's really nice to see. The pen is now fully customizable as it should be on Surface Duo 2. Uh, and that is really nice. Now the only UI change I've noticed is that the pin unlock screen has sort of been lowered down here before it was a bit higher up. And I think they've just done that to make it easier to use with one hand, which is kind of nice. Uh, but the big update here really for the Surface Duo January updates is with your phone. So here we are in the Your Phone app, and as you can tell, there's a new feature called Apps, which replaces the old phone screen feature. Uh, that is still here if you want to access that, but um, it's now been replaced with a more dedicated app launching experience. This was on Samsung devices before. If you're a Samsung user, this won't be new to you, but it is certainly new for Surface Duo users. So as you can see, uh, I now have a list of all of the apps that are installed on my phone uh, on my Surface Duo and if I wanted to launch one of those apps I just click on the icon and that will bring up an app window just like a normal Windows app and I can now move that around, I can snap it side by side, I can maximize it uh, or I can uh, minimize it as well. In addition, I can also pin these apps to the taskbar or start menu. As you can see, I have an icon here for the Bing app running on my Android device. If I right click and select pin, even if I close that window now, it will still be pinned to the taskbar. And if I click on it again, it will just pull up the same app on my Surface Duo and run on the desktop instead. Uh, if we pin that app to the start menu as well, uh, that will provide the same experience. You can see it's there. And uh, if I click on it now, that will bring up the window again and I can now begin using it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, this is really uh, an app I can use. I can scroll in it and stuff. I can click on apps. I can begin typing uh, Windows Central, for example. And there we are. We're now running uh, the app and I'm using it and it's uh, working pretty well. Uh, agree to that. And we can minimize that and launch something else. So let's launch, say, the clock app. Uh, now keep in mind, my Bing app is still running in the background. You can see it's still running here, uh, just like the Surface Duo can normally. We're running two apps side by side, but the apps feature allows you to run more than two apps on your desktop. So I can come back here and launch, say, the calculator. And now I'm running three apps side by side. How about if I launch another app? Let's say, let's launch the Tips app. I'm now running four apps side by side. We have Clock open, we have the Bing app open, we have Calculator open, and we now have the Tips app open as well. I can in fact make them smaller and larger, but I can't really make them wider, for example, or taller. They're sort of stuck in their specific aspect ratio, but I can in fact make them smaller or bigger if that's something I want to do, which in fact I do. So now I've got lots of small apps. Let's open another one. Let's open the settings app. Why not? There we are. And we'll make this one smaller as well, uh, which is fantastic. So there you are. That is a look at the apps feature in the Your Phone app. Once, once again, this isn't new if you're a Samsung user, but if you're a Surface Duo user, this is a feature that wasn't available to, your, to you before, uh, but it is now, and that is pretty cool. Now, of course, there are also uh, a number of bug fixes and just general uh, performance improvements and tweaks. Things like touch response should be better now. Uh, the camera may be improved slightly as well. Uh, all of that usual stuff. But I just wanted to show you here the, the sort of new features because that's kind of top billing for these updates. But yes, there should be bug fixes and stuff as well. But there you have it. That's a quick look at the January updates for Surface Duo 2, which is rolling out now. Thank you so much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.